Welcome to the BioBalance HealthCast, episode 655. Painless hair restoration is finally here. BioBalance HealthCast features conversations about anti-aging medicine. Your host is Dr. Kathy Moffat, medical director of BioBalance Health and a leading expert in treating symptoms of aging. Dr. Maupin is the author of The Secret Female Hormone, the seminal work about testosterone replacement therapy for women, and Got Testosterone, the award-winning book for men that helps men choose the most effective and safe form of testosterone replacement. These books are available on Amazon or from Dr. Maupin's office at BioBalance Health in St. Louis and in Kansas City. Dr. Maupin's office is currently accepting new patients. Welcome to the BioBalance HealthCast. I'm Dr. Kathy Maupin, and today we're going to talk about uh, getting your hair back if you're losing it with uh, aging. So I've looked, you, many of you may know, that um, in addition to having a medical practice where we make people healthier, we replace their hormones that they lose with aging, And then we make them healthier by decreasing all of their risk factors for all the diseases that uh, we can get as we get older. But along with that and parallel to it, uh, I've developed a uh, spa, a medical health spa, uh, called Biobalance Skin. And in this spa, we have specific treatments for specific problems that happen as we get old. And most of it has to do with removing hair or tightening skin or getting rid of uh, wrinkles or uh, having uh, your eyebrows microbladed on so that you, you know, you don't have to pencil them in every day. But we also have been looking for years for a hair replacement that actually works and not a hair replacement like we're going to stick hair on you, but a hair replacement where you start regrowing hair where you had have just lost it, like your hairline goes back. And for men, usually that's what happens. Your hairline starts receding and you get hair loss on the top of your head. This procedure is painless and it can actually make you regrow hair. No matter why you're losing your hair, it makes you regrow your hair. And they, um, the company is Alma and they call it TED and it's a high intensity ultrasound that drives a serum down to the hair follicle level. And the serum has been worked on for 17 years and they just rolled it out this year. It actually drives it down below the skin into the area where the hair follicle is and revives the hair follicles. It really is quite amazing. I've been watching my husband's hair come back here and here and it his hair all over his head looks thicker. It looks so much better, and he's only had three treatments. So it's simple. It's painless. It is not as expensive as all the other treatments that you, uh, that you have to pay for to get hair implants or to have hair weaving or that doesn't always look like your real hair. But um, the, problem, the problem is, as we get older, that's what happens. We start getting thinner hair on our heads, And in women, we start, this area starts getting a little bit higher and higher. And some women decrease their uh, thickness of their hair here. Um, Luckily, I haven't had so much of that as a problem now that I have my hormones on board and and my thyroid is fixed. But a lot of women do have that and it bothers them. Hair is such a big deal. I just, you know, if you think about it, why should it be a big deal? It's it's hair, but it is a big deal. It frames your face, and we unconsciously judge people we meet by looking at their hair, how thin it is, how thick it is, if it's white, if it's dark. We, we judge people unknowingly and say, oh, yeah, that's an old guy. That's a young girl. That's a, that's a middle-aged person just by looking at their hair. And it's not fair. It's just something that is inherent in human nature and how we look at other people and compare ourselves to them. So um, many people come in with extensions. My female patients, a lot of them have extensions. A lot of people have wigs. I've, when I was on a certain medical treatment, I actually wore a wig. They're hot. They're miserable. And um, 
I wouldn't wish that on anybody, but it does solve a problem so that you don't have to go out in public with hair that doesn't look like you. But this actually makes your hair grow. It's amazing to watch. We have, um, when we bought this machine, we bought also a camera that counts the hair follicles in certain areas on your head. So we can literally have, a, have an, um, a number of hair follicles that we can see hairs growing from, and they every month you have more hair, and they're getting longer and longer. They start off really tiny, but of course the hair is going to continue to grow because it's been fed and it's been uh, awakened with this serum, which is quite amazing as well. So the process is 45 minutes. Part of that is just parting your hair, wetting it a little bit, and then and then taking a picture so that we can measure the growth next time you come back. The procedure itself is really only about 25 minutes, and we divide the hair areas in four areas, five minutes on each of the four areas, and what that does is this ultrasound is very, it's not like the ultrasound you see babies with. It's a, it's a focused, high-intensity ultrasound. It literally makes spaces between your, the outside of your scalp and the dermis where your hair follicles are. And it's like opening up little areas for a lake of the serum. So we do a procedure here, 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 and here, five minutes each. Then the serum is applied, and then we drive the serum down into those little lakes where they're going to stay and feed the hair follicles. It works. I mean, we couldn't believe it because there are so many hair treatments out there that are a lifetime commitment, like you have to go in all the time, or you have to take a medication for the rest of your life, like finasteride. And I don't like finasteride because it makes men lose their sex drive and, and lose their muscle mass and sometimes lose their erection. So who would want to take finasteride just to have good hair? So this kind of makes finasteride unnecessary if that's what you're taking it for. And I have a, I have a few patients I can't wait to tell, tell about this because I have a hard time saying, I can't give you more testosterone just to make you feel better just because you want the finasteride for your hair. So this will be able to replace that. So I guess the biggest question is, does it hurt? <laughs> and it doesn't hurt. We used to have a procedure we tried for a while, and that was injecting um, PRP, which is your, your own platelets, platelet-rich plasma, and injecting it under the scalp with needles. Well, an hour of that, and you have to go home and take a nap. It's exhausting to have needles stuck into your scalp for an hour. And I've, I've watched this, and you can just watch somebody's color drain out of them if they have to have this done. On the other hand, we can do something that's completely painless. My husband fell asleep while they were doing it. He just knocked back and started snoring, and, they, and he got, he's getting beautiful hair from it. So first of all, it's painless, and it's relaxing to have the treatment. We book about 45 minutes out, probably 30 is all you need for a man. A woman has, women have extra, a little extra area because we usually have more hair. So, the, so our treatment's a little longer, but 45 minutes is as long as it is, and it's four times once a month for four treatments. Now, the next question is, what kind of upkeep do you have to have? Well, right after the treatment and ongoing, you should always have either sunscreen, if you have if you're growing hair at, the pro at that time, you should have sunscreen on your head. You should do that anyway if your hair is thin, and you should wear a hat. It is after the hair is established and it's growing uh, to a certain length, then you don't need it quite as much because your hair is covering your scalp and protecting it. That's what hair is for, is to protect our, our skin um, on the top of our heads. So that's the upkeep. The other upkeep is, just like anything else, if you have um, laser to your skin and then you go outside in, in the sun and you get more sun damage, then after your initial laser series, every year you have to come in and get a few treatments just to kind of keep it up. Well, this, uh, they say, and we haven't gotten this far, but they say you just need one treatment. Some people may want more treatments every year, but one treatment is all that they recommend 
to keep your hair growing in the same manner as it's growing at the end of uh, five months. So um, the maintenance is less expensive per treatment because that's how we've structured it. Um, a treatment package of the full price for treatment package, although we do have some sales, uh, is $3,400. But compared to Hans Wyman and all the other um, places where they like take hair from back here and they have to harvest it and then they have to implant it into your scalp, that's, that's nothing. That's like the tax on whatever you'd have to pay to get that kind of hair treatment. So, no pain, it's effective, 65% uh, of your hair will come back. That's the, the least amount of your hair that will come back, and anybody, can, anybody who has a hair loss can use it. So if you have hair loss all over your head because you're female and your, your whole family has this, then you can have this done and you'll get thicker hair. Um, all patterns of hair loss up to stage three so I'm, um, I'm putting up um, actually a picture of stage one, two, and three uh, for men. So men usually start receding here and getting some hair loss here. But when you have no hair from here back and, you, and it's shiny, that means there's no available follicles for us to stimulate. So it's less likely. I wouldn't promise anybody that we could actually make their hair grow if they had that kind of a uh, of a uh, hair problem. But if I can catch you guys, especially the guys, in their early 50s when the hair loss is starting or in their 40s, when they're starting to recede, then we can stop the process, which I think is really amazing. And you can keep your hair. So this is, that's my dream, keeping everybody's hair when they're when they're starting to lose it so that they can look like they did when they were 25, when they're 45 or 55. So if you have uh, hair loss for any reason, this will work. Auto, autoimmune hair loss, which is like, it looks different than just aging hair loss. It usually is a, um, round circular areas that just lose hair, just like, you lose that hair and everything else looks okay, or you get patchy loss of hair, that usually is an autoimmune uh, type of hair loss, and that is less likely to respond to this, but the uh, tests they did with the FDA, the FDA approves this for hair growth, believe it or not, and they found that it would even work um, with that kind of hair loss. So, I think, I mean, the FDA doesn't approve these types of treatments easily. You have to go through a ton of testing. So that, to me, is, is a really good um, stamp of approval, that it is very effective. Who's not a candidate? Well, we talked about if, you have, if you've been bald a long time and you, your, ha your head is shiny in that area, we can't grow hair. But if you want to grow hair farther back, we can get you to grow hair there, but you may not be as happy because... We can't grow hair in the area in the front, which is where people want their hair growth. Somebody who has had a metal plate in their head, we don't want to heat up anything that is metal in your head. So if you have something, um, if you have little metal springs that they put in to open up vessels, we, we would advise you not to do this. If you have a if you've had a fracture of your skull and you have some kind of metal implant, then we would not suggest that. And in general, it's in the area where we are doing the treatment that we don't want to have any metal. So if there's anything in the vessels of the brain, we, don't, we, we can't help that because we don't want to have any problems or any side effects. Um, patients who are on chemotherapy right now, in general, we would have them wait until after chemotherapy and then wait till the wait a certain amount of time, about six to 12 months after chemotherapy, and then, then start treatment for them to get their hair loss back faster. Um, people with um, immune therapy for autoimmune diseases, if it is generalized uh, immune suppression, that 
is not going to have as good a result as if you don't, if you're not taking that. So I can't promise a 65% increase, but you should have increase in your hair growth anyway, even on that. Um, I don't, I can't say this very well, so I'll probably botch it, but trichotillomania, which is a, it's a psychological, emotional problem where you pull your hair out or your eyebrows out. This is, this will help you grow hair there, but if you're going to pull it out, it's probably not recommended to grow hair unless you've been treated for that and you no longer are pulling your hair out. Uh, if you have cancer in your scalp, we want to wait till it's treated or until your dermatologist says it's fine to have uh, any kind of ultrasound treatment. And last but not least, if you have open infections, if you have uh, sores or uh, some kind of infection from a trauma, then we would wait till you are healed for that. So we don't just say, oh, come on in, let's do your hair. <laughs> it's, it's not like going to the barber or going to the hairdresser. We always have a consultation ahead of time to show you pictures of before and after. And then we also will talk about uh, risks if you have any of these uh, medical issues. We go do a full medical history so we know what drugs you're on. There are some drugs that make it a little harder to grow hair, but the studies they did with the FDA said it still works, even if you're on beta blockers, which is what I was on that made my hair thin. But, but basically, this will help you grow more hair, even on that. So, so um, I am going to post in my blog pictures of hair loss. And until you get to the advanced hair loss in a female, which is like this whole area is almost bald, then we can, we can bring your hair back. There, we will still make, we will still make a, um, an inroad. You'll still get more hair, but it won't be really as thick as it was prior to your hair loss. But we'll, we will still make an uh, improvement for you. So you'll still get thicker hair. So if you want to read about this or look at it, you can go to um, the Alma, Al, A L M A Inc. dot com backslash products backslash A L M A T E D Alma Ted, and that's that's the website. And if you want to come in and um, get a consultation that's free for Biobalanced Skin, you can call three one four. Uh, 648-5710, and then we'll set up an appointment to evaluate your hair loss and tell you what we can do for you with TED. So we have a new tool, and we'd like to share it with you. Thank you for listening. Email your questions or comments to podcast at biobalancehealth.com. You can find the Biobalance HealthCast on iTunes and on YouTube. For more information about bioidentical hormone pellet therapy and other reverse aging solutions, visit biobalancehealth.com or call 314-993-0963. You can find Dr. Maupin on Twitter at Dr. Kathy Maupin and on Facebook at facebook.com slash biobalancehealth.